Do you like being laughed at to your face and behind your back? Do you like people telling you they wish they didn't have to work like you don't? Do you like finding food in your hair that you haven't eaten that day? Welcome to being a homemaker. Shut up and listen because I know what's going on in that stupid brain of yours. Oh Barbie, you can't give career advice about being a homemaker. You didn't think I'd ever go here because I lie constantly about my age, my parental status, and I look like I've never done a dish in my life. Well, guess again bitches, and I can say full and well with no lack of certainty, DON'T! DO IT! Sew up your vagina now and call it a day because homemaking is not the most rewarding job in the world. They all lied. You are a taxi, a cook, a laundromat, the shell of the human being you once were. Get out now! The miracle of children, such a blessing, blah blah blah. But who at the end of the day is going to stay home and make sure they don't kill themselves? Because daycare these days is your entire paycheck before tax. Because society thinks you don't need to be paid the extra 20 cents a man gets for doing a subpar job because does anyone actually know a man who can multitask and project manage the way we can? Women f run the world. So here's some advice, though it's not like the stay-at-home mom hasn't already been given plenty of unsolicited advice from anyone with a mouth. But remember, my mouth is the most important one. Ken reminds me that every day. Number one, you will never have free time again. And to rub salt into the wound, everyone is going to think you have loads of free time. Free time when? Between loads of washing? After meal prep? While you're cleaning up the toys? Again? Before grocery shopping? After you read three books to little Timmy? Before before he chucks a tantrum about you taking the book off of him before he rips it so you don't have to drive him to Target to pick up a new one? When is there free time? Number two, you will never be alone again. You wanna have a snack? That's now your baby snack. You need to grab some mail from the mailbox? Swing the kid over your shoulder because last time you tried to leave them in the house, they almost choked on a Lego. Need to poop? Well, they're in there with you. Brawling into your pants around your ankles because merely being in the room is not close enough. And if you get a night where your husband or life partner decides to babysit their own kids, you feel obligated to leave the house rather than lock yourself up in your bedroom and binge watch a Netflix series. Because if you stay home, someone will come and bother you. Just get a library card because they have Wi-Fi and you can sneak in some snacks. Red wine goes very well in a grapefruit juice bottle. And finally, number three. Well, I forgot because I'm so tired and the only thing I can remember is that I hated doing this so much I decided if God was going to curse my fertile body with more kids, then they would take care of the other kids for me. No, I, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna sit in the bath fully clothed with a wine bottle and a bag of Cheetos and cry for a good hour. Don't disturb me.